Sean's kitchen. I just found out that I left my basement door open for the last two days. So that is not only cool, but also fun. And welcome to the new mice. I uh, hope you enjoy your residence. Today we're making swordfish, which I've never made before. I don't know what it tastes like even, but we're gonna try it. I have cooked cod before where the method is to cook it in a pan first and then to put it in the oven. And I'm gonna do the same method because it turns out really buttery and nice. I'm also gonna do a base of a squash with some vegetables in it under the fish to give it some flavor and some depth. As usual on KS Kitchen, we'll see how it goes. I gotta stop drinking on these, I send them to my manager. Last time my mom said that I did not wipe my sweat off my forehead and out of the 10 views I get, she is nine of them and I am the last one. So I need to be, do a better job of that and um, keep my viewers happy. So there we go. I have my squash roasting for the base. I have my vegetables cut up. I have my swordfish. I have my spices. I'm gonna start off with the swordfish to get that going. Basically, I'm gonna do around three minutes on the side. It's gonna go in the oven after this, so you don't actually wanna cook it all the way through. I basically have the pan I'm cooking the swordfish in on medium heat, and then I have the oven on 350, and we're gonna throw that in afterward for about five to seven minutes. I wanna get the onions to a point where they're kind of caramel caramel caramelized, yeah. I think my garlic in first. You also can't see, but I literally have my other camera on a step stool. Because I don't have to tall enough tripod. Because this is a glamorous studio. Okay, I'm searing the tuna. What am I cooking? I'm searing the swordfish. I'm sweating out the garlic. I just pulled the squash out. I think the swordfish is probably at a point now where I can flip it. You may have a bit of stickiness. Don't panic, it can't turn out that bad. Well, going in with the onions. The name of the game here is low and slow key. Caramelizing without butter because I don't own butter. Okay, I've had swordfish searing for about two to three minutes per side. If you use a stainless steel dish, you can just put the whole thing in the oven. That's what I would recommend. We're gonna go 350 for five to seven minutes. I say five to seven now. I don't know if that's actually what it's gonna be. Probably gonna eat undercooked fish and then get sick. Now that my onions have cooked down a little bit, I'm gonna cook the tomatoes as well. I also love that I'm screaming alone in my kitchen. My neighbors are probably like, what is he talking to? They're like, that's really nice that he has imaginary friends because he lives by himself. Good for him. I've added the roasted squash to the base. I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken broth and I'm gonna add these spices which I've pre-mixed. It's cumin, turmeric, turmeric. Those are, that's one thing. I just forgot how to pronounce it. Pepper and salt for now. I thought it'd be really a cute thing to mix this up. Meanwhile, I have no idea how much is in it. So I may have to adjust. I'm like, I can just throw this whole bowl in. About a half cup of chicken broth, throw in your spices, and turn up the heat a bit to get to slight simmer here. Okay, that's actually turning out better than I expected. Take the fish out. But the fish I'm basically looking for a bit of flakiness. feeling is that this fish and the vegetables are probably not going to be the most flavorful. So I'm going to finish the fish off with a bit of lemon juice. The vegetable base accidentally put the seeds in. That's great. They keep going in. I did not learn. So I'm actually going to throw in a touch of feta cheese and some Greek yogurt. Whatever that is, a Greek yogurt. And um, oh yeah, that looks much better. There you have it. My first ever swordfish. Hmm. I'm surprised when my food turns out well. This is actually pretty good. You have the acidity and the base and the tomatoes, the lemon juice, the Greek yogurt, and it mixes.
mixes really well with the meatiness and fishiness of the swordfish. Thanks for watching Chaos Kitchen. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Shout out to my mom, who's probably the only person watching to this point. Um, see you next time.